Hi guys, today I want to show you how to install the bottom Picatinny rail for uh, S200 or CZ200S uh, air rifle. So it's going to be compatible with uh, the Mark III um, stock, so the one piece stock. So with the kit, you'll be getting, uh, of course, the, the bottom mount. A longer M4 screw to replace your factory screw. Bottom Picatinny rail with uh, the screws. And of course two silicone pad to protect your uh, wooden stock. So how you install it? It's uh, basically you need to take off the 4mm uh, screw from your um, barrel band, which I already did. Then you stick on the silicon pad to uh, uh, to protect your stock. You can see that's uh, that's how you stick them on. And uh, you can see the mount. One side it's thicker, and the other side it's uh, thinner. So the thicker ones goes to the front, which will make the bottom rail parallel to the barrel so you just put it like this and you fix it with uh, the M4 screw and you just uh, use your hex uh, screwdriver to screw it in. You do not want to over tighten this because uh, the factory barrel band is made of plastic. Here I have my free flowing barrel band, uh, which uh, uh, should work the same way as the factory one. Uh, okay, just don't. Tighten it up a little bit. There we go. So you can see it's now mounted. And now you need to mount the bottom rail. Just uh, position them like this, line them up, and use uh, your hex key. Time could be tricky. Uh, there we go. Uh, same here, you don't want to over tighten it. Just make it finger tight. That should be good. There we go. Now it's uh, fully installed, and as you can see, the bottom rail it's uh, it's pretty much parallel to the barrel, so that'll uh, uh, be useful for uh, something like a flashlight, so the light will shine straight uh, to the to the to your point of impact. I'll just show you how it looks like uh, with a bipod installed on. There we go. Yeah. There we go. That's fully installed. Thanks for watching.